In other news, Knight is investigating roaches running rampant in a local high school. Students say that they found them in their lockers, running across the tables at lunch, and even on students in class. The roaches are out of hand, crawling all over the place. That is the mother who brought this situation to our attention. Well, we took that to the health department as a next step. The department has documented sightings of roaches going back to at least 2015. And now students and health inspectors agree it is still a problem. Channel 9's Ken Lemon is live outside Ashbrook High School in Gastonia. And Ken, the health department says it's taking this seriously. Yeah, yeah, they are. And just a few minutes ago, I spoke with school officials who told me that there were baby roaches found here on campus. During that inspection just yesterday, they say that once a month, an outside company comes in and they treat the school for pests. And the last time that happened was just last week. But that one mother I spoke to, she says they have to do more. This mother, Lisa Roden, said just yesterday a student found a roach crawling on him in class at Ashbrook High School. Reports school officials say they hadn't heard before. It's a very bad situation. She said her daughter has seen roaches in several areas around campus, found them in her backpack. Roden called us with her concerns. Crawling all over the place. They're in my daughter's locker. The last time the school had a full inspection was in March of 2018. Then inspectors said, they observed roaches in the janitor's closet, in the gym entrance, the men's locker room, the varsity locker room, the JV locker room, and the men's restroom. Health inspectors had four checks in 2019, but only of the cafeteria, and they found the school in compliance for insects and pests. After our call, they did a full inspection yesterday. They noted dead roaches were observed in the cafeteria and foods class kitchen. Some live roaches were seen in locker rooms and the custodial closet by the gym. They weren't found in lockers or classrooms. They said the risk is small, but it's cause for concern. In their um, eggs and their feces, they usually can shed um, an, a bacteria that would cause an asthmatic reaction. It could be harmful for someone with respiratory issues. Everybody has to control the food, water, and shelter for cockroaches. And that's what they're asking staff here to help chip in and do now. Lisa Roden says that her daughter has respiratory issues, but she hadn't had any serious problems so far. Health inspectors believe those roaches are getting in through water drains, Scott. These issues were noted during an inspection in 2018, Ken, but again, they went two years without another full inspection. So why was it not inspected last year? Well, health officials told me that last year they lost three positions in that one department. So they had to focus on priority areas in the school. That is the school cafeteria uh, with instructions for those inspectors to keep an eye out for other issues if they see them, Scott. All right. So staffing aside, how often should schools be inspected? Well, according to an order that we found that should happen once every academic year, we did note that there were four inspections here last year. That was just at the cafeteria. Those were not full inspections, Scott. All right, Ken Lemon, thank you, Ken, for that live report.